The American bison is one of the most significant large mammals of the Great Plains, not only important to Native American culture, but vital to their environment. Surviving the last ice age, bison have been on this planet for over 2.6 million years. The bison that we know today are descendants of the giant bison, otherwise known as bison latifrons, who inhabited North America in the late Pleistocene, alongside woolly mammoths and the American mastodon, 300,000 to 15,000 years ago. Giant bison were up to 8 feet tall, making their estimated weight anywhere between 2,700 to 4,400 pounds. These bison ancestors had equally large horns, with some preserved specimens spanning over six feet from end to end. Although the exact reason for the significant downsize of the bison species is unknown, it is assumed that the changing climate limited the ability of vegetation to grow, and there simply wasn't enough food to sustain a large population of these one and two ton mammals. So. They evolved into much smaller, more sustainable animals that we see today. Bison are recognized today by their dark hair and large shoulders. Bison can reach six feet tall at the shoulders and can reach a weight of up to 2,000 pounds. By moving speeds up to 35 miles an hour, plains bison can cover long distances to graze across the landscape. They benefit the landscape greatly by pruning the grasslands, which leads to an increased growing season. They spread seeds and fertilize the soil as well. Buffalo actually help their environment so much that the benefits of their presence in the Great Plains can even be seen from outer space. Historically, researchers estimate that 25 to 60 million bison once roamed the Great Plains. Unfortunately, due to an increased demand for buffalo hides, the desire to hunt with increasingly efficient rifles, and easy access via railroads, the population of bison decreased dramatically in the 1800s at the hands of settlers and hunters, driving these incredible animals to near extinction. Additional potential influences on the plummeted population could include the desire to control Native Americans by removing a primary food and material source, the introduction of cattle diseases to the area, drought, and competition from domestic livestock. No matter the cause, it is estimated that during the so-called Great Slaughter between 1820 and 1880, the population of bison dropped from approximately 30 to 60 million to less than 300 total. Public outcry for the preservation of bison in the 1860s prompted some states to pass laws to protect bison, but enforcement was lacking and the population continued to decline. The earliest efforts to rescue bison began in the late 1860s when a handful of private citizens independently began to capture and shelter bison, saving the species from extinction. These bison served as the foundation stock for most modern public and private bison herds today. Today, approximately 360,000 plains bison are privately owned as domestic livestock with approximately 31,000 bison stewarded as wildlife in publicly owned herds in the United States and Canada. In 2016, the North American bison was declared the national mammal of the United States as a symbol of unity, resilience, and healthy landscapes and communities. As with many other Native American tribes, Bison are an extremely important symbol of spiritual strength and endurance for the Ute Nation. Historically, bison were incredibly important for the survival of the people, providing essential food, hides, and other materials necessary for the Ute way of life. The Utes first started hunting bison when Spanish conquistadors brought horses to the west, allowing them to leave their homes in the Rocky Mountains and venture into the eastern plains to successfully hunt and harvest bison in the spring and fall. Today, the bison remains an important spiritual symbol to the Ute people and plays a significant role in the annual Ute Sundance and other religious ceremonies. 
Since the early 1980s, the Southern Ute Tribe and the Uinta and Uray Reservation has managed a small herd of bison, primarily for cultural preservation and dietary purposes. Bison are culled from the herds every year to provide meat for the tribal membership, powwows, and other tribal functions. Additionally, they utilize the hides and skulls by distributing them to the tribe's culture department in accordance with Ute traditional values and beliefs to ensure educational opportunities and presentations on the culture of bison for the Ute people. School groups often receive tours of the tribal bison herds, providing a valuable opportunity to observe and learn about bison behavior.